Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Lord, for another day of life. This is Intuitive Queen Shaw. I hope you can hear me. I don't have my headset on, which gives me a little bit more volume. Um, I'm off today. Thank you, Lord. It's raining outside. Every time it's either the weekend or my day off, it rains. So, um, But I still have to do what I have to do today, keep my appointments and all. But uh, everybody, male or female, there's somebody sulking. So, King, I see somebody sitting at a small table. This is a male sitting at a small table. Just, just miserable. Not talking to anybody, giving two or three word responses, if any words at all. Somebody feels stuck in a situation and they want to get to you. And I tell you that with complete certainty. And they can't. And they're sulking. I don't know what is going on with some of these people, what kind of situation they've gotten themselves in where they can't get out of it, but they're pissed off this morning. They're sulking. They're not talking. They don't want to eat. The grits is cold. They don't care. They don't want to be bothered with anybody because they want to get to you, but they're stuck and they're sulking. I clearly heard a female on the phone with somebody saying, he walking around here sulking. Why would you want to be with somebody who don't want to be with you, uh, uh, karmic what victory is it to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you who's only with you for financial gain you may get some type of a check every month or you may have money which i think is very weak of your person to be with somebody for financial gain but a lot of people do that i know i had a podcast show one time um and one of my friends came on and i asked him a question i said if you met a woman who you were not attracted to, but she had money and she she wanted you, would you date her? He said, hell yeah, if you see a sucker on the floor, pick it up and lick it. I said, damn, that's a lot of people's perspective. So watch who you date, y'all. When, 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 when I commit to whomever God has meant for me, it could be somebody I'm dealing with, somebody I'm not dealing with, I don't know, but I'm going to make sure we meet in the middle, you ain't coming to me raggedy and broke and think I'm going to sport you up, I'm sorry, I'm very giving, but you got to bring something to the table, preferably at least half of what I'm bringing to the table, you're not taking my, my, my hard earned, hard earned money, or whatever I come into, and think you're going to live off of me. I don't like you that much, boo. And then you out cheating with other women. I'll hurt you, sir. I'll hurt you. And have to use some of my own money to bail myself out of jail. I don't play that. I don't, I don't believe in that. But people do it every day, y'all. Every day. But why would you want to be in a situation with somebody just to say, this is my man, but you taking care of him. Or this is my woman, but you taking care of her. And you know they don't want you. That's stupid. And people on the outside can look and tell who that person's real type is, and it ain't you, karmic. It's not you. You funny looking. You a drama king. You a drama queen. You don't work. You're lazy. Your hygiene is bad. You have low self-esteem. Your personality is horrible. You are a phony. Some of them wear crosses on their neck and they praise the Lord and they're the biggest hocus pocus witches behind the scenes. I'm psychic. I know what I see. Don't play with me. Good morning, T-shirt girl. I know what I see. <clears throat> oh, by the grace of God. And then they go to Aunt Sally or Aunt Betty Jane. How can I keep blah, blah, blah with me? And they tell them some type of old old school remedy stuff I'm not even entertaining the thought of finding about because that is witchcraft that's evil I'm not trying to go to hell over no man if he want to go baby go matter of fact here go my smart trip card if you ain't got a car free ride on me get on up out of here if you don't want me I don't want you how about that but some of these karmics male or female they know the person don't want them but they are so obsessed, they will do anything to keep them. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who don't want me. You better want me. <laughs> you better want me. Because if you don't, guess what? Guess what, baby? Guess what? The 25 and went up to 30. Who will be over here right now? Right now. Drop what they doing. I'm so glad you finally called me sharp. I've been liking you for a long time. And I'm not talking about no, no, no scrubs either. Don't play with me this morning. I ain't no Beyonce, but I ain't no slouchy woman either. 
I got a lot of cards in my back pocket I can pull out. Don't play with me. And y'all better take on that attitude. You better put yourself on the pedestal. Not arrogant, but confident. Know your worth. Don't let nobody treat you any kind of way. Don't become the karmic, is what I'm saying. Do not become the karmic. All right, y'all, lift your spirits up. Somebody is sulking today. And I, I, I kind of want to give them a pass, but part of me is like, you need to make a move. Because I keep telling y'all, somebody is coming towards you. I just heard the name Clarence. Also Dawn, D-A-W-N and Hamilton. Somebody's birthday is the third week of September. I'm picking up Virgo. Somebody's name Mary could be spelled M-E-R-R-Y. Not M-A-R-Y, but M-E-R-R-Y. Okay. Somebody uses a cane. I know I do sometimes. Y'all know what's going on with my spine, right? Um... Okay, y'all, this is really going way back to ladies my age. Somebody was a candy striper as a summer job. Somebody was a candy striper. Back in the day, young girls could volunteer at hospitals for summer jobs to help out with the patients, and they would call them candy stripers. Somebody was a candy striper. Maybe your mom was a candy striper back in the day, but I just heard candy striper. Okay, somebody used to love to show solid gold. Your name could be Darcel. There was a beautiful black lady on there with long hair. Her name was Darcel. I just saw Darcel's energy dancing in front of me. Solid gold. That's from the 80s. <clears throat> um, somebody's cooking white rice tonight. Somebody could be having some type of orange chicken and white rice for lunch. General Souls chicken and white rice for lunch or dinner. Okay, I, I definitely see chopped up chicken, thighs or breasts, some type of sauce over white rice. James, J-A-M-E-S, Sean, S-E-A-N, Hernandez. I see Gail again, but it's G-A-Y-L-E. That could be a last name. Robert. I'll say, okay, Tanisha. T-A-N-I-S-H-A, Tanisha. These names are flying in here, y'all. Okay, Tracy, T-R-A-C-I-E. Or E-Y, Sabrina. I just heard last name Hill. Okay. All right, I see turkey. Somebody could be having turkey for lunch. A lot of you all do. This is This is what I'm picking up on, so... This could be your reading. If any of these things resonate with you, um, somebody has an actual popcorn popper in their house, a kind from movie theaters. It could be like a decorational piece, but I see an old-fashioned popcorn popper where you have to turn the, turn the wheel, turn the crane for the popcorn to, to come out. I always wanted one of those. Okay, they, um, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, y'all. Oh, gosh. Okay, I think peanut chews. Okay, y'all know I'm psychic. Whatever fi flies across my brain, I'm going to say a peanut chews, a candy. Somebody loves peanut chews. There's six in a pack. Someone says you're bubbly. You have a bubbly personality. And I really want to be with them. I really want to be with them. I really want to be with them. Somebody feels stuck and they really want to be with you. Just stand back. Don't do anything. Let them be a man or a woman and get themselves out of this mess they got themselves in. Nobody told them to think the grass was greener and leave a sure thing, which is you, and go over to this bamboozlement. It was, a, 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 as Malcolm X said in the movie, hoodwinked and bamboozled. That's how they feel. Daggone it, I gave up Queen Charles, a handsome man, beautiful woman who got everything going on for them, and I fell for the tricks of this karmic. They ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing. And I done lost my person. They got everything going on. They don't need me. They've been without me all this time during the separation. They don't need me. So they're sulking. All right, y'all, let me get on about my day. I love you all so much. Thank you for all of the kind emails and comments about my little furry son, Arthur. He is my entertainment and so sweet and loving when he's not being bad. 
I really think Arthur has been here before. He may have been one of my furry babies before who passed away already because he looks at me like he knows me. He gives me the most intense looks like, don't you know me, mom? He could be a relative. We don't know about reincarnation, how you're going to come back, if you believe in it. I've done a big, big, big paper in college about it. Y'all, when I finished reading that in front of the class, people's mouths was dropped open. Okay? I've dreamt about my past life. I've dreamt about a house that I keep dreaming about that I've never been to before in this life. And I know where every room is. And I think I mentioned this before. It wasn't that long ago. I think when I left my last life, if God meant for me to come back and do something again, I, was, I wasn't old. But I would love to know who my soul twin was to me. I do know when I first bumped into him, I went to work the next day and I told my colleague, I said, I think I met my soulmate. When I bumped into him physically, I remember feeling the muscles in his arm and I felt like somebody, I'd been hit by lightning, but it wasn't in a bad way. So y'all, we have been with some of these people before and ever since then, it's just been this magnetic, even though it's been separations in between, we, we cannot... It's amazing. You just can't, you can't be away from each other. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing though, but all soulmates are not meant to be together romantically. All twin flames are not meant to be together romantically. The fact that you can identify who it is and let God and karma or let God in the universe work it out. Don't do anything. Don't ultimatum. You better do this. You better leave this person. You leave that up to God. Don't, don't, don't. Don't do anything. Just be your loving, beautiful self and let them do what they're supposed to do. They know how you feel about them. They know. But don't you give anybody the power over you. People, some people get a thrill out of knowing they got you in the palm of their hands, y'all. Live your life in the meantime, okay? And don't become the karmic. I love you all. Uh, my readings are still $25 for three questions. IntuitiveQueenShar at gmail.com. Same with dream interpretations, 10 bucks. I didn't win a mega million, so back to work tomorrow, Lord willing. I love you all. Take care. I'll come on either later today or tomorrow, Lord willing. Take care, y'all. Take care. Don't become the karmic.